Today on this 2017 Nissan Murano, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the Draw Tight Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 75952. Here's what our hitch looks like installed. One thing that our customers have stated about this hitch they really like is that this hitch does have a higher tongue weight capacity than the other hitch options out there. And this gives them the ability to load more weight on with a cargo carrier or having a more sense of a security when using it with a bike rack. One thing that I really like about this hitch is how close it sits to our fascia here, giving us as much ground clearance as possible underneath the hitch but yet still making it easily accessible and easy to use. Also, our receiver here is closer to the back end of the fascia, but it still sits behind it. This will make it easier to put our hitch mounted accessories in place, but yet we still don't have to worry about running our shin into it when we're loading cargo into our hatch. On the side of our receiver, you'll find two pinholes. The larger diameter one closest to the front of the vehicle, that's our industry standard 5 8 of an inch diameter hitch pin hole to secure our hitch mounted accessories. You can pick up a pin and clip separately on our website as part number PC3. The smaller one closest to the rear is for our J-pin stabilization device. And what that does is take away the annoying shake play and rattle out of what is inserted into your receiver. You can pick up one of those on our website as well. That is one unique feature about this hitch. Other hitches don't have the J-pin hole. On the end of our receiver, you'll find this nice welded collar right here, which gives us a nice finished look and also helps improve the strength of the receiver opening. On the bottom of our receiver, you'll find our plate style safety chain loops to attach the safety chains from our trailer. What I like about these is these have a really large opening. So if you have a large safety chain hook like this one, you can really easily clip on, still have plenty of room, and you can easily remove it when it's time to unhook your trailer. Now, when it comes to towing a trailer, you are required by law to have a lighting system. So you need to have a place to mount your wiring so you can hook up to your trailer. This hitch features that. We have a nice attachment point right here to mount any wiring you may need. Several different wiring options on our website if you need them. Other hitches, they don't feature an attachment point like this. This hitch features a 600 pound max tongue weight rating, which is the amount forcing down, and a 4,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull. It does support the use of weight distribution. However, those numbers stay the same. They don't change. You wanna make sure you consult with the owner's manual of your Murano and not exceed what the vehicle's rated for as well. Go by whichever number is less. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier, you're looking at about 12 and a half inches from the ground to the top of the two inch receiver opening, and about five inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, we're going to locate our attachment points that our hitch is going to be held in place with. We're having a look at our driver side frame rail right now. You'll notice there's multiple holes here. I went ahead and circled the holes that we're using. We have two well nuts that are closer to the front of the vehicle that we'll use, and the one that's closest to the rear that we're going to use. Our passenger side's a little bit different. We only have two well nuts on it. We'll be using both of these. Now, because these well nuts are exposed with nothing protecting the threads, it is very easy for dirt and debris to get inside and for rust to build up. So it's a good idea to spray some lubricant in there, which we have available on our website, and use a wire brush, which we also have as part number 814092, and run it in and out of the threads a few times just to clean up any of the debris that's inside. We'll do this for all of our attachment points. Okay, now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch in a position and we'll secure it into place using the hardware provided with our hitch. We'll have a bolt and a conical tooth washer. The teeth on the washer will face up towards the hitch. With our hardware all started now, we'll use an 18 millimeter socket to tighten it down. Now we'll torque all of our hardware to the mount specified in the instructions.
And that completes our look at and installation of the Draw Tight Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 75952, on this 2017 Nissan Murano. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.